there guys and welcome welcome back to the channel right so in today's video we're going to be talking about battlegrounds or more specifically this is going to be my feedback with the current state of battlegrounds and kind of state of battlegrounds video in general because i do think that battlegrounds right now are in significantly worse place than they were let's say three or four months ago and i'm going to give my reasons why and the biggest issues of it and there are quite few aspects of the game that had to converge in order to make for as poor of a playing experience or level of enjoyment for Battlegrounds for it to go down this way, which is extremely unfortunate. As you know, Battlegrounds is my favorite game mode. Additionally, before I do go into the nitty bitty grits of the video, I want to point out the fact that uh, I actually do know the person who is responsible for creating last couple of metas. And I think he's an awesome guy. He's relatively new to his job. And in my opinion, unfortunately, he has not hit the ground running. I still think he's an awesome guy. I still think he's a great player and a great addition to the Kabam team. And there will be some sort of learning curve. I will say some mean things about the fruits of his labor. And uh, I hope it can be taken constructively, not as a personal attack. But there have definitely been some failures when it comes to the design of the last several matters. And that is before we even get to talk about Alliance War situation currently with the new offensive and defensive tactics. But that is an entire different topic for a different situation. So you will have different opinions. Some things that I point out in this video, you will agree with me. Some of them you will disagree with me. But please con try to conduct yourself as civil as you can. Remember that we all play this game differently, with different interests, different levels of commitment, different ability, and you know and so forth so some of the things that bother me might be cool for you some of the things that uh, i love might bother you doesn't mean that i think less of you and does not mean that you should feel some sort of uh, unfounded anger towards me for having a different point of view that said and the monetary disclaimers put aside i will ultimately say that i enjoy battlegrounds significantly less than i have in pretty much ever uh the only you know exception would be the modern situation and the cheater situation i want to acknowledge the fact that kabam has done a relatively good job and continues to do so cleaning up the battlegrounds we obviously still get some modders some of them stick around for like a week or two but uh, ultimately there are far less of them which is noticeable you know every season i only end up matching a couple uh, of obvious cheaters which is a significant decrease to a point where you know half of my matches were against people who cheated so uh there is a 100 percent noticeable improvement in that and we need to acknowledge it despite that i think i enjoy battlegrounds the least amount that i ever have and for that to happen that way it had to be like a perfect storm of perhaps unintended circumstances or consequences in this game and uh, unfortunately they all kind of converge in the place in the game mode that kind of is the most current most important most act actual one therefore if the battlegrounds are going down in terms of enjoyment i think you know it is a very big issue for the game as a whole so the first thing that we definitely need to address ai ai regardless of what kabam says kabam has stated that they have not actively changed ai and we all know that's bullshit I'm sorry it is. AI has changed. AI is very passive. It often refuses to throw special attacks. And for several seasons already, I know a ton of competitive players who just doing the bare minimum in Balgrounds just because of the AI. Because on top of all the other RNG aspects in Balgrounds, in between, you know, RNG in drafting, RNG in some champion specific fights, you have this major 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 rng element of where you can have a perfect counter and opponent refuses to throw a special attack for 25 seconds and you lose the match that you should have won even though you played perfectly just because the ai decides not to throw a special attack so th that's a horrible thing obviously ai recovery times have been adjusted there are, there are issues with dex and parry which are separate things that also hinder the play experience in battlegrounds but uh, AI is just horrible. It is. And uh, it's making very hard to enjoy the game because every other stream or every stream pretty much, I have a handful of fights 
where you know it just infuriates you to no end where you have a perfect matchup where you're about to get the win and then they don't throw a special you lose they don't throw a special you make a mistake they get level three you lose it happens so much and it shouldn't and ai kabam has changed ai and it has to be addressed it is a major major problem now on top of the ai issues here is going to be the first point that i will direct at uh, the person designing the metas themselves uh, working at kebab it is absolutely insane to me that we have so much power gain happening in this season with the ai that we have here's the thing the the guy designing these metas is very skilled and experienced players he knows that there is an ai issue there is no way he can not know it and it is pure insanity to put powerful from afar and to put um that pilfer node in the battlegrounds knowing that it will result in you know a level three to the face in every match or every second match if he didn't realize it that's a massive oversight a huge error with the current ai system and the thing is it's not even too late to do something about it or fix it because this is the second frustrating thing at the moment in regards of the ai and battlegrounds and these no choice in general because when Baldur Realm Brawl happened, all watched the amazing tournament and the amazing gameplay. That amazing gameplay and that tournament went only as well as it did because Kabam or somebody at Kabam had the foresight to put enhanced special nodes one and two. Every single fight in the, those tournament matches, the opponents actually threw their special attacks because there were nodes making it more likely to happen. Why those nodes were there? Because Kabam at you know, at the game design level, knows that there is an issue. We would have watched completely different battle and brawl with all of our competitors praying to RNGs that opponent throws special attack or eating level threes to the face in every match had they not done that. That's a fact. There is a reason those two nodes existed there, and that was to make it more, you know, entertaining, more enjoyable, and to show, you know, better matches and have better experience for everybody involved. And the big question is, why aren't you doing it here? If you acknowledge that there is a problem with the AI, which Kabam has done by default by adding those two nodes in the Balram Brawl, why don't we see those nodes? Why it's only eight people in one tournament who get to enjoy decent AI because of the addition of Enhanced Special 1 and Enhanced Special 2 node? Why not the rest of us right now? Every single Balgrounds meta should have those nodes added by default up until such time that Kabam, you know, actually fixes the AI. Very, very simple thing there. And then you can have powerful from far. And then you can do some other power against stupid things. Because currently, regardless of other meta limitations and meta issues, a portion of your fights, a portion of my fights, are effectively you enter the fight let's say you push the opponent to level two you start baiting out a special attack and they just don't throw it and you eat a level three and you die <laughs> and you have gotten like yourself like five or ten points that's not serious game that's not serious gameplay that's a very major issue that again kabam could address it today just add in two nodes that will already significantly improve the current situation in Balkans. But they don't do it and they are not listed for any of the upcoming metas either which is going to make it a shit show right that's the the major thing obviously the ai is god awful and the choice of the nodes with ai just exacerbates the problem to an insane degree awful it really is off. Second thing that pushes the same problem and frustrations even further right now is the energy resistance. There was absolutely no need for 90% energy resistance to exist in this meta. This meta already has buffet, it has powerful from afar, and energy resistance is a node that, unlike buffet, unlike powerful from afar, doesn't actually affect the fight really. 
uh, much. It just tells you which champions you can't use. And the problem with it that under these circumstances, we are forced to discard a significant portion of the champions that we have ranked in order to address the biggest threats in the problem. And that's perfectly fine when we have nodes that limit the champions that we can use. It is not perfectly fine when we have like so many of them to a point where majority of the champions ranked are subpar or can be used as defenders only when they are clearly meant to be ranked up as you know double purpose champions. Great example right now, for instance, is Domino just running wild because vast majority of the great counters or counters that we have ranked for dominoes suck. You know, you can't use Nimrod energy damage plus buffet everything else is going to suck can't really use a mega sentinel energy damage oh, it's going to be kind of crap can't use should it's going to be energy damage whatever and you know there's like lady death strike which is significantly less popular so there's basically almost no good domino counter in this meta because of the node combinations and we're in a situation where the dominoes are rank five or rank two seven stars or rank three seven stars and the viable counters, you know, realistically in our accounts are rank three or rank four, six stars. And that's just not good enough because even if you get a domino with the counter that you have at rank three or rank four level, even if you get lucky enough to draft it, you're still going to lose the round, the domino, because, you know, you're using a rank three against rank five or rank three against rank two, seven star. And because of it, because of how far they have went with the limitation of the champions that we can use, especially in specific classes. It has created extremely poor relation of the actual gameplay towards the draft. Like this current meta is entirely draft dependent, which is entirely roster dependent because you, you know, uh, if you just don't have super highly ranked, you know, these alternate counters, nothing you're going to be able to do much ever against it not to mention the fact that at any given point even if you have a perfect counter just as i described earlier domino can refuse to throw a special attack and you can eat a level three to the face a great example in this meta is mysterio i have done domino twice with mysterio in 60 seconds or under where the fight goes perfect and i have had fights where i get ko'd immediately because domino doesn't throw a special attack she activates level three and i just bleed out none of that is fun None of that should be what Balgrounds are about, because it is, again, praying to the Jesus of RNG that you get to draft the one counter that you have left, that Kabam has allowed you to have, and then praying to the god that the Domino will throw a special attack. It is not fun. I don't think it is. I don't think there's anybody in here that enjoys that. So, that's the second thing. I think they went too far restricting it. Like, I definitely did not like the metas where nodes barely mattered and it felt like you're playing arena. But at the very least, you know, then you could use the best of your roster and, you know, still somewhat play. Now it just feels like you're getting violated by certain champions and especially, like, you know, the biggest accounts. And again, to be perfectly clear, sometimes I am the one doing the violating because obviously it's all relative. My account isn't as big as some TCN accounts or whatever, but my account is still bigger than other people's accounts. Many of my victories feel completely hollow and shallow just because I know that I have the bigger account here and there's very, very little that they can do about it in this meta. And many of my losses feel extremely frustrating because even though, uh, you know, my opponent played better or... Uh, I won because of it, or on the flip side, even though I had my opponent completely outdrafted, I got beaten just because there is no special three, sorry, no special attack being thrown to my face at all. So, ultimately, that's the problem. Another thing that is definitely an issue that might be a bit more controversial because some people like it or some people don't like it, I personally heavily dislike this whole focus on attack buffs because it yet again feels like Kabam is not allowing us to play but they are directly telling us you know this is a list of few champions that work and this is everything that doesn't 
feels like at this point in between having this many limiting nodes on defense and then having you know specific archetype boosted offensively it feels like you're playing a tutorial version of the game where you're told exactly what to do and how to do it rather than you experimenting making your own decisions testing out your favorite champions because that's not possible anymore you know for a fact that science class not on on top of being pretty much the strongest class in the game to begin with right now you have science champions being overpowered even further to a point where it's almost pointless to even draft or place a mystic champion on defense just because of all the attack and damage increase that science champions have and then it has a snowball effect of having the feeling of this is a list of 40 champions that you can build your deck with opposed to this is a list of 150 champions that are decent and that you can build your deck with right it just it immediately makes the game feel a lot smaller it immediately feels like it takes away your choices and your options and your individuality it feels like you're facing the people with virtually exactly the same decks because kabam decided that these are the champions that you can use i think it's a garbage idea i think that Battlegrounds at this point are starting to feel like something that used to be fun and now got over regulated kind of like imagine if you're playing a game with your friends and then a new friend comes and they start making all the new rules you can't play the game like this this is the new rule you can't do this this is a new rule you can't do this this is a new rule and that's how it feels with Battlegrounds right now it feels like kabam is telling us a lot of things that don't work in this matter <coughs> rather for us to find things that work better and or worse they are flat out eliminating these things like there will be matters obviously where some champions were better than others but these matters make it so that many of the champions don't work at all and again, it just feels somehow very basic, like very rigid and significantly less enjoyable. There will, I, I do agree that metas do need to put some limits and again, make some champions better, make some champions worse, and perhaps completely invalidate some champions. But where we're at at the moment is when they completely invalidate majority of the champions, and they are giving us only a small sample of champions that do work to a better or worse degree. It just feels, well, bad, at least to me. And the final thing that I definitely have to mention again is uh, it doesn't really seem worth pushing anymore. If the Balagrand rewards initially were super exciting and, uh, you know, for several seasons I was pushing for the top 10, I had multiple top 10 finishes, I was frequently and the top three of the leaderboard as well i have lost a you know very big part of my motivation to do so you know but okay you can say here that it's just because i suck and i can't do it but no i you know really play less battlegrounds i stress about it less and i don't feel as inclined to do so because of the couple reasons because number one whenever i was in top 10 the matchmaking took forever which is you know an entire issue separately and it was really unenjoyable to spend two hours in a live stream and finding three matches or four matches and then spending 20 minutes you know trying to find somebody else at the same time when you are up there you only end up playing the same five ten people every day and lastly uh, the rewards just don't seem worth it you know you can put up with a lot if the carrot that's getting dangled in your face is big enough but uh, you know Balagrand store is just outdated at this point compared to what you get from events and everything else with the game moving forwards in seven star rank three territory it it just doesn't seem worth the headache at the moment it really doesn't so that is my feedback about the current situation with Balgrounds. we have issue with the ai for sure the rewards are also outdated and we do have issue with matters the matters are far too convoluted at this point they're far too you know specific and restrictive and i think the attack nodes are completely shit thing to go about and try and implement and i think the even these defensive nodes are just you know taking in 
it into the direction that's not fun. And to be clear, because I know somebody's gonna say it's not a skill issue, because I know my opponents have to fight the exact same nodes, and you know, I'm not afraid of hard Balgrounds metas. In fact, I typically prefer the harder metas. But there is a difference in between hard and enjoyable and hard hard meta and skill demanding meta, right? Um opposed to what we have now. Because this meta, you know, you could objectively say it's hard, but it's just extremely unenjoyable. It's extremely restrictive. You can't use the champions that you want to use or, or you would like to use. You don't have the champions ranked up that could potentially work. And then on top of it all, you know, there's nothing fun in trying to bait a special attack for 25 seconds. There's nothing fun to randomly eating a level 3 to the face, even though you have done everything right in the fight. There's just nothing fun about it. And that's how I feel. I think Balgrounds are significantly less fun today than they were three or four or five months ago. I think the last properly fun season and fun meta was the qualifying season for Balrealm Brawl when we had Crit me with their best shot match. I think that was the last time I genuinely felt like I'm having an excited, exciting season and enjoyed playing the game in Balrealm. Since then, you know, these new nodes, the previous sugar pill tactic and decay thing also was overtuned and wasn't great. And this season is possibly the worst of them all. Feels the worst to me, at the very least. So that's my honest feedback here. And um, let me know what you guys think. Bye bye. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about